It's undoubtedly the day of the year when the Australian cricket team has more on its mind than most, though for much of it, cricket wasn't to the forefront of their thoughts. It's well known that preparations for the Boxing Day test are always somewhat unorthodox. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Before the team could tuck into its Christmas lunch, they first negotiated the lightest of net sessions. Ed Cowan was one with a spring in his step, set to make his test debut at the MCG. He's very excited, as, as we all are. But I think the one thing that um, Ed's got in his favour, he's come off some very, very good form. Um, and and he's, he's feeling confident. He played the Indians last week. Um, so he's looking forward to this occasion. It's an exciting time to, to make your test the build. Sean Marsh was another delighting in the Christmas gift of a place in the test side. In past summers, it was Australia enjoying the luxury of an experienced Boxing Day lineup. But this year, while India boasts an impressive number of Boxing Day test veterans, five of the Australian 11 are experiencing an MCG test match for the first time. There has been little talk, but plenty of action out of that experienced Indian camp this week. The team took a good look at the ground and appears to have the support of all creatures, great and small. It's an exciting time for, for them to come out. They've got some great players um, and I know our, especially our bowls are looking forward to having a crack at them. Even if the players aren't saying much, the massive visiting media contingent certainly are. By tomorrow afternoon, it's likely everyone will have something to talk about. Nick Bailey, ABC News, Melbourne.